way to start the season with a fresh start. Joining me now is Dr. Alicia Thornburg from Rapid City Medical Center. Skin care doesn't have to be that complicated, does it, Dr. Thornburg? <laughs> no, it really doesn't. And the more simple, the better. Yes. Okay. So you just came from this conference. Right. So every year, the Academy of Dermatology has an annual meeting, and this year it was in San Diego. Mm -mm. It was the largest <laughs> meeting in history for the Academy of Dermatology, and Dr. Polian and I went, and we had a great time. Okay. Now tell me everything that we should know for this spring. <laughs> Well, remember, this is, you know, a diagram okay. of your skin. And, yes. you know, the only part that we see is above the epidermis. But then here's the dermis. This is hair. This is like hair. Yep. Okay. yep. Okay. And then your vessels and your subcutaneous fat. So when you're getting vitamins and nutrients in, a lot of times things will be sold that they can be absorbed through the skin. Okay. But it's actually quite complicated to get through the skin, so that might not be the case. Oh. You might need to be worrying more about what you're eating to help your skin. Okay, well, what should we be eating? Well, I have a feeling I know, but anyway. Right, <laughs> you want colorful vegetables, fruits and vegetables to help absorb your vitamins. So green leafy vegetables. Okay. Um, also lentils and beans can be one of the cofactors oh, to I help. Like lentils. Very good. Yeah. To help absorb mm -hmm. um, vitamin D. Okay. You need to have vitamins A, magnesium and potassium. Too. And how do you get all of these? Just a well-balanced, well-rounded diet with the more colorful of your plate, the better. Oh, more, so most of them should come from the veg vegetables. Right. So you can't, it's not like you can take a pill and go, okay, I'm taking, I would take, add some collagen today. <laughs> it just doesn't work that Usually way. Usually not, collagen, um, often is just destroyed in your gut and the acid and so it's more healthy to be having a well-balanced diet do how yes okay so to get that spring look we need to eat more fruity ve uh, more leafy green leafy vegetables what else ca should we do well sunscreen is so important I know people think oh I want my vitamin D and they think if they get tan that can help it but truly the risk of UV rays causing skin cancer um, outweighs the risk of any um, vitamin D. So the Academy of Dermatology oh. uh, recommends that you still wear sunscreen, but you get your vitamin D from your diet. And in fact, too much vitamin D oh. actually starts to degrade your own vitamin reservoirs. Oh, so don't be in the sun getting the vitamin D synergizing. It's about five skin. or ten minutes to activate it oh, through really? your sunscreen. Okay. So still wear your sunscreen and get it from your diet. And get it from your diet. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Now, what else? Retinol, I understand, because people are asking me about that. Should they wear that just year right. round or should they not? Well, retinol also comes from vitamin A and it's in some of the foods, dairy foods, um, some of the animal products, but actually putting topical retinol on, yes, you can yes. use that year round. Year round, vitamin mm -hmm. C. Vitamin C, vitamin C can block sun damage. It can stop um, free radicals, which okay. can cause cancer from affecting your skin. Okay, so you must protect your skin, but Definitely, it's got to come through your diet. Right. You and this, do this topical stuff. But right. You and this eat year well. at the plenary session, there was a big discussion on photo protection and heliocare. It's known as, um, it's a fern from Central and South America, polypoidium, okay. and it can block the cancer pathway. So that's important to take <gasps> before you go outside. Where is that found? Walgreens online. Oh, wait, say the name again. Heliocare is the brand name, but polypoidium is the generic name. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, got to go out and get that today. <laughs> Thank you so many, so much good information. And vitamin K can help with bruising. Let's not okay. forget about that. Oh, let's not forget it. Okay, all right. I can still wear my makeup too, though. Just right. Under and darker okay. skin tones need to be more um, thoughtful about um, getting vitamin D. It's harder to absorb it. Okay, all right. Great information. Up next, today's Fox Files brings us to Wisconsin. Known for following your dreams. Known for keeping with tradition. Known for discovering new places. No one wants to be known for camp.